All right, um, good morning and um, hi to everyone on my channel. Uh, welcome back to Princess Seats. Today, precisely, we're going to be diving into one of the most frustrating issues that YouTubers face. Uh, when YouTube is not recommending your videos and how you need to fix it. So you need not to worry about this because I'm going to show you how uh, uh, a particular feature on your YouTube studio could have impacted the reason why YouTube is not recommending your videos to others. And I'm also going to leverage on how playlist, end screen and YouTube cards can turn things around and also make the algorithm work in your favor. So stick with me because these small changes can make a massive difference in your YouTube channel. All right, so but before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get right into it. So, uh, because um, if you use the um, if you use the app, you will not be able to access all the features on the YouTube Studio. So we are going to be using the desktop version. So what you do straight away is to get to your Chrome browser. Once you open it up just like it's right before you in my screen uh, type uh, studio dot youtube dot uh, youtube dot com all right and we want to use the desktop version of uh, the youtube uh, studio so that it can help us to access other features of the YouTube studio. Okay, so once it opens, we can uh, increase this. Now come to, you see this section? This particular, that looks like a stick of cigarette. You click on it, that's custom. It's called customization. Click on it. And allow it to load I think I have a little bit sluggy network this morning so once it loads then at the top section you see here home tab click on home tab all right now from under the home tab you could see the layout of your platform you have the for you uh, you have the videos and the rest of them like that short videos uh, down to the end so come to for you for you on that is for you you see more settings click on more settings now from here you could see for you settings uh content type video short live streams then recency now from the very beginning you see what to include in the for you section the for you section would be only visible to your viewers when you have enough content now under recency which is at the end there you see all content in bracket recommended then recent content only if on your youtube studio uh your this feature is turned to recent content only if you click on recent content only that means you are telling the youtube algorithm that only the content that you posted in the last 12 months should be recommended you understand but if it is on all content only maybe by mistake you have turned it on uh, to be recent content only and that is why youtube is not recommending your videos to other uh, all of your videos to uh, others to watch so ensure that it is on all content all right youtube always updates the for you section with fresh content so both the videos you posted within the uh, last 12 months and beyond the last 12 months will be recommended to your viewers to watch so this is one important section that people are missing out and maybe by mistake after tossing with some of the parameters within his or her platform he has messed around with this and that's why youtube is not recommending your videos to others all right all right so the next section that i'm going to discuss with you has to do with um, uh, the fact that you have put in 
uh, the work you've created awesome content but YouTube is not recommending your videos and why what's the reason one of the first criminal in this aspect is the low watch time that you have uh, in fact YouTube prioritizes videos uh, that people watch for longer periods so low watch time is a corporate right another uh, another corporate there for you not being recommended for video watch is engagement engagements if viewers aren't clicking or liking or commenting YouTube assumes that your content is not worth recommending so you have to create videos that are quite more engaging and the third one there is your session time YouTube loves when your videos keeps people on the platform longer eh? on the platform longer so watching more content uh, it's this is crucial for getting recommended if they can keep you know themselves longer on your platform so but the good news uh, is that the the playlist and the end screen and also the cards can directly impact and improve these metrics that will make your video to be more likely to be recommended so we're going to break it down in a little bit from uh, here uh, so our playlist the playlist very important it's more or less like being called the underrated power move all right so uh, playlists very important and they are like your secret weapon that uh, many youtubers are not using enough now think of them as a binge watching tool for your audience and how playlist helps the algorithm youtube actually favors videos that lead to longer watch sessions you know that that means that if a viewer watches more than one of your videos in a row youtube will see that as gold then the playlist will make this happen by automatically playing your video the next one will be played automatically and that would increase your watch time and session duration you understand let's take for instance now if you have series of videos on how to grow a youtube channel you have to group all of those videos into a playlist titled uh youtube growth hacks for instance you just say youtube growth hacks in 2024 so when someone now starts watching one they are more likely to stick around and also watch the next one in the playlist without even realizing it all right and that's continuous watch time which youtube now loves to see now so how do you implement this create a playlist with a clear enticing title for example boost your youtube algorithm complete guide can label it there hmm? create a playlist with an enticing title titled boost your YouTube algorithm complete guide then promote this playlist on your channel in the descriptions and also during your videos so viewers know that there is more content ready to binge right now if you talk about the end screens the end screens are those um, little little pop-ups that uh, keeps your viewers engaged longer all right uh, they are the little clickable boxes that pops up in the last 20 seconds of your videos most people actually overlook them but they are very crucial for keeping your audience watching and also staying glued to it now why does this end screen actually why does it matter it keeps the viewers hooked okay it hooks your audience and if someone finishes your video you don't want them clicking away so you want to guide them to the next video or playlist so this not only improves your watch time but also boosts the chances of YouTube recommending your content now how do you use end screens very much effectively don't just add any random video but ensure that you are strategic suggest a video that closely related that is closely related to the one they just finished watching so it will feel like it's a natural next step 
you can also link to your playlist which as we mentioned earlier is perfect for extending session time so the next one there is um, called the YouTube cards and I would personally call this interactive engagement in real time uh, the YouTube cards are actually underused most times and these are tools that can work wonders if you use the right way use it in the right way <coughs> beg your pardon so these are, are the little eyes you know icons that appear in the corner during your video giving viewers options to click on another videos or playlist without leaving your current video all right so and uh, how this youtube cards impact recommendations the cards let you promote more content while viewers are still watching. So by strategically placing them at moments where interest is speaking, you can get viewers to explore more of your channel. The more they interact with your content, the more YouTube notices that your videos are keeping people engaged, which will increase the likelihood of future recommendations. Now, when and uh, how do you use those cards number one use them wisely secondly don't overload your video with too many cards else it becomes so distracting now a good rule of thumb is to add cards at moments where your audience might be curious about a related topic for example if you're discussing how to boost your youtube views you could also add a card linking to a video titled five best thumbnail strategies for more clicks and by so doing the algorithm says that uh, with this little specifics you are not burdening or overloading your your you know your video with too many cards at the same time all right so having known how to deal with that uh you can also lastly combine the three cards for maximum impact all right so now that you understand how playlists end screens and youtube cards work here's the secret you have to combine them and this is where actually the magic happens use cards midway all right while you're making a key point in your video introduce a card that links to a related topic that's on the cards now then on the uh, playlist link ensure that you you link your videos into playlists that will provide ongoing value to your viewers and this would ensure that once they start they keep watching on and finally the end screen which is the call to action as your video is wrapping up encourage viewers to watch the next video in the playlist or another relevant piece of content when you do this you are hitting the youtube's most valuable metrics and algorithm higher watch time increased session duration and more clicks and interaction with your videos all of this tells youtube hey people are loving this content and in turn youtube starts to recommend your videos to more people right so if you are wondering why youtube isn't recommending your videos it could be because you are not using the playlists the end screens or the cards to their full potential so these tools they work together to extend watch time to drive more engagements and also ultimately make your content irresistible to the youtube algorithm so start implementing these strategies today and trust me you'll see a difference uh, also check the first uh, metric that we discussed there ensure that you don't turn on that button all right so that youtube can recommend all of your contents and not just those within the last 12 months so start implementing them today and trust me you must see the difference don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring 